The history of the battery is one of the most fascinating journeys in the story of human innovation because it represents the quest to capture, store, and utilize energy in a portable form, something so common in our daily lives today that we hardly think about it. Yet its development spans thousands of years, beginning with ancient curiosity and culminating in the modern technologies that power smartphones, electric cars, renewable energy grids, and even spacecraft. And to understand this journey, we must travel back in time to the earliest known discoveries that hinted at electrical energy. Most famously, the mysterious Baghdad Battery, a clay jar dating back to around 250 BC, he found near Baghdad. A rock, which contained a copper cylinder and an iron rod inside, and when filled with an acidic liquid, such as vinegar or wine, could generate a small electrical charge. Though historians debate whether this artifact was truly used as a battery for electroplating or some form of ritual object, it stands as one of the earliest indications that humans were experimenting with energy long before the modern scientific method was established. And centuries later, during the Renaissance, curiosity about electricity grew as natural philosophers and scientists began to observe static electricity, lightning, and the behavior of certain materials when rubbed together. But it wasn't until the late 18th century that true breakthroughs began to occur, most notably with the experiments of Luigi Galvani, an Italian physician, who in the 1780s noticed that the legs of dead frogs twitched when touched with metal instruments, which he interpreted as animal electricity inherent in living tissue. Yet his contemporary Alessandro Volta disagreed and believed the effect was caused by metals and fluids interacting to create an electrical current. And out of this debate came one of the greatest inventions in history, the Voltaic pile invented by Alessandro Volta in 1800, which is widely recognized as the first true battery consisting of stacked disks of copper and zinc separated by pieces of cloth soaked in brine or acid. And when connected by a wire, this pile produced a continuous flow of electricity, something that had never been achieved before, opening the door to endless experimentation and practical use. And indeed, Valda's invention amazed the world, even catching the attention of Napoleon Bonaparte, who awarded him honors and popularized the use of the word volt as the unit of electrical potential. And in the years that followed, the voltaic pile became a foundation for electrochemistry enabling Humphrey Davy in 1807 to use it to isolate new chemical elements such as sodium and potassium, proving that batteries were not just curiosities, but essential tools for advancing science. Through the 19th century, the evolution of the battery continued rapidly as inventors sought to improve capacity, reliability, and reusability. And in 1836, John Frederick Daniel invented the Daniel cell, which used copper and zinc with a copper sulfate solution, and produced a steadier current than Volta's pile, making it practical for powering telegraphs, which became one of the first large-scale technologies powered by batteries, revolutionizing global communication by allowing messages to travel across continents almost instantly. While William Grove later invented the Grove cell in 1839 using platinum and nitric acid, which produced stronger currents but was costly. And in the same period, the development of the gravity cell and other variations gave rise to widespread use in industry and communication. But perhaps one of the most important milestones came in 1866 when Georges Leclanche developed the Leclanche cell a zinc carbon battery using manganese dioxide as the depolarizer, which became the basis for the dry cell battery, later improved by Carl Gassner in 1887. And these dry cells marked a turning point because unlike earlier liquid-based batteries, they were portable, durable, and easy to use, which allowed for the powering of flashlights, radios, and eventually countless consumer devices, making the battery a household necessity. Another revolution in battery history was the invention of the rechargeable battery, and in 1859, French physicist Gaston Plant invented the lead acid battery, which used lead plates and sulfuric acid, 
could be recharged by reversing the chemical reaction with an electrical current, and this invention remains in use today, most notably in car batteries, over 160 years later, proving its durability and effectiveness. And it paved the way for future rechargeable chemistries, such as the nickel-cadmium battery developed by Valdemar Joner in 1899 and later improved during the 20th century offering higher energy density and longer life cycles. Though concerns about toxicity eventually limited cadmium use, leading to nickel metal hydride, neem batteries, in the late 20th century, which found success in early hybrid vehicles like the Toyota Prius, demonstrating the role of rechargeable batteries in sustainable transportation. Moving into the 20th century, batteries became central to nearly every technological revolution from powering military equipment during World Wars I and II to enabling portable consumer electronics in the post-war era, and the zinc carbon and alkaline batteries dominated the disposable market, with the latter being commercialized in the 1950s by Louis Uri at Everty, lasting much longer and becoming the standard household battery type for decades. While on the rechargeable side, lead acid remained the go-to for vehicles. But as the world entered the computer age, and later the mobile revolution, new chemistries were required, and this need was fulfilled by the development of lithium-based batteries, with early research beginning in the 1970s when M. Stanley Whittingham introduced the concept of using lithium metal for energy storage. Though safety issues plagued these early, attempts leading to the breakthrough in the 1980s and 1990s by Akira Yoshino and John B. Goodenow who developed the modern lithium-ion battery using layered metal oxides and carbon anodes, creating a lightweight high-capacity and rechargeable solution that has since become the backbone of smartphones, laptops, digital cameras, and countless portable electronics, transforming modern life in ways we could not imagine before. The 21st century has brought new demands on battery technology, driven by climate change, renewable energy, and the rise of electric vehicles. And lithium ion has risen to dominance with major innovations in safety, longevity, and efficiency, as seen in Tesla's gigafactories, smartphone power systems, and grid scale storage solutions that balance renewable energy from solar and wind. While researchers continue to push forward with next generation designs, such as solid state batteries, which promise greater safety and energy density, by replacing flammable liquid electrolytes with solid materials. And other technologies like lithium sulfur, sodium ion, and even biobatteries are under exploration, reflecting humanity's ongoing quest to harness portable energy more effectively. And in addition to consumer electronics and vehicles, batteries now play a critical role in medicine, powering pacemakers and hearing aids in space exploration where NASA's Mars rovers rely on advanced battery systems and in global infrastructure, where entire cities may one day be stabilized through massive battery banks that store renewable power, illustrating that batteries have moved from being simple curiosities of frog legs and copper plates to becoming the heartbeat of modern civilization. The hidden enablers of communication, mobility, healthcare, and sustainability the story of the battery is not only a technological journey, but also a human one, demonstrating the interplay of scientific curiosity, engineering problem-solving, industrial growth, and environmental responsibility, beginning with the mysterious Baghdad battery that hinted at possibilities, evolving through Volta's pile that gave us the first true current, growing into telegraph cells that connected continents, dry cells that powered personal devices, rechargeable systems that revolutionized cars and electronics, lithium-ion innovations that put supercomputers in our pockets, and now advancing towards solid state and beyond to support a clean, renewable future. And as we look ahead, the next chapters of this history will likely define how humanity powers itself in a sustainable way, whether through cars, homes, or cities ensuring that the humble battery remains one of the most influential inventions ever created, shaping the past, present, and future of civilization in profound ways.